what does the Keynote app do? Keynote is not only a great presentation tool, it can do so many other things that I'll show you just a sample of those today. One of the main things Keynote is used for is great, cinematic, beautiful presentations, whether it's a full screen image like this one, delivering a keyword or phrase, or some kind of another visual, it's a great tool to give presentations. In fact, it was designed for Steve Jobs to use to give his Keynote presentations and then was released as a public app known as Apple Keynote. When you first open Keynote on your iPad, you'll find a variety of themes you can choose from to get you started. Themes are a collection of slide layouts or templates to help you build your presentation. Once you're actually giving the presentation, you can take advantage of the powerful presenter display. Keynote offers you a presenter display that only is visible to you on your iPad while the audience sees the full screen image on the presentation. You on your iPad can also see the next slide coming up. You can see a clock letting you know where you are in your time. You have the option to tap and use an Apple Pencil or stylus to annotate. And you can even tap on the top left to see a selection of all your slides if you wanna jump in different order. You can show current and next slide, and then you can show one of those with notes. It is a very handy and powerful tool to keep you in control of your presentation. And when you're presenting, it's a great tool to work through the process from start to finish collaborating with others. Anybody else who has access to Keynote, either through an iPad, a Mac, or the web browser, can actually go on here and edit and develop this presentation alongside of you so it truly is an effective group project. And then when you're ready to present, you actually can give a multi-presenter slideshow. If you're presenting from remote locations or from just different offices, you can each log on to your device and see presenter controls and take over controls while you give the presentation. You also have some great export options with Keynote. You can export your presentation slides as a PDF. You can also export to PowerPoint. A lot of us work with people who work with Microsoft PowerPoint as their presentation presentation tool. You can create a great presentation in Keynote, export it on your iPad in Keynote to PowerPoint, and then your friends who run Microsoft PowerPoint can open up and view that presentation on their computers themselves. You also have the ability to export your presentation as a movie. There's a variety of settings you can adjust to get that video file exactly the way you want it. You're also going to have fun using Keynote as a fun tool to build animated GIFs. One of the really fun uses for Apple Keynote on iPad is to create your own custom images to use in your presentations. I've used a clipboard shape tool and a pencil shape tool on here, broken them apart, changed their colors, and now I have a slide that has this clipboard and pencil. Change the background from a color fill to no fill, and then when you export, you're gonna wanna choose PNG and make sure that toggle is on for transparent backgrounds. And then you can drag that into another slide and the background is completely gone and transparent, and now what you have is just that image you made, all from within Keynote, so you don't have to leave the tool to create some images that are customized for your presentation. Here we have a set of files that are both PowerPoint files. And if I go and choose to open them in Keynote on my iPad, I now have the ability not only to view that presentation file, but I can edit it. I can change the text, change the font, retype the words, swap out images. I can fully edit this presentation that was made in PowerPoint on Keynote on my iPad. Keynote is a great tool for storyboarding. You can simply create individual slides that are a rough draft of what you want your presentation or your animation animation or movie to be, then you can put those together to share a better explanation of what you envision. I've actually built a theme that you can download for free. The link is in the description that has not only individual slides for a storyboard, but a place for notes, a lot like a company might use making animation or a movie. Keynote was built as a presentation tool, but you also can use it to make documents. The real power with Keynote on iPad comes when you add a stylus like the Apple Pencil. You can draw on your screen whether you're writing math problems problems for a class or you're drawing animation or simply writing words, your handwritten material can show up on your screen because you've written it with your Apple Pencil. You can even make the slides black and change the texture to what they would call a crayon. It has more of a chalk look that would be a fun way to use with a classroom. And you can use the Apple Pencil while you're presenting. You can choose to make it a laser pointer and you can point on your screen and all your audience sees is that laser pointer dot showing up just as if you had a pointer you were putting up in the air. But you you have precision control using your Apple Pencil. You also can use it to draw on the screen during a presentation, highlighting specific areas, making annotations, and all of these go away when you go to the next slide so it's fresh and ready for your next presentation. That's a quick overview of Apple Keynote on iPad. Yes, you can make amazing presentations and you can work back and forth, developing it on your iPad, adding some work on your Mac, and going back and forth until it's done. You can collaborate with others, or if it's just you and all you have is 
an iPad, you can create great presentations. Also, great PDFs, GIFs, movies, animations. You can export images with transparent backgrounds. You can do all kinds of creative things. And then you can add in Apple Pencil for handwritten, hand-drawn elements unique in your presentation. If you want to see more examples of what you can do with the Apple Pencil or Keynote on iPad, check out some of the links in the description for other videos I've created. And if you've seen something in this video that you can't find a video tutorial for, let me know in the comments. That just might be the next video I make that helps you out with your idea using Keynote on iPad. That's just a taste of what Keynote can do on iPad. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, like the video if it's been helpful for you. And if you want to see more content, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.